Hello, this is Willa the Reporter, speaking to you live from Channel 8. This is the home of Sarah Cynthia Sylvia Stout, who would not take the garbage out. She'd scour the pots and scrape the pans, candy the yams, spice the hams. Although her daddy would scream and shout, she would simply not take the garbage out. And so it piled up to the ceilings. Coffee grounds, potato peelings, brown bananas, rotten peas, chunks of sour cottage cheese. It filled the can, it covered the floor, it cracked the window, it blocked the door. Bacon rhymes, chicken bones, drippy ends of ice cream cones, prune pits, peach pits, orange peels, gloppy drops of cold oatmeal, pizza crusts, withered greens, soggy beans, and tangerines. Crusts of blackburn butter toast, grisly bits of beefy roast. The garbage rolled on down the hall. Raised the roof, it broke the wall. Greasing napkins, cookie crumb, globs of gooey bubble gum, cellophane for green bologna. Peanut butter caked and dry, curdled milk and crusts of pie. Moldy melons, dried up mustard, eggshells mixed with lemon custard. Old French fries and rancid meat. Yellow lumps of cream of wheat. At last the garbage reached so high it finally touched the sky. All, all of her neighbors moved away. None of her friends came to play. Finally, Sarah Cynthia Stout said, okay, I'll take the garbage out. But of course, it was too late. The garbage reached across the state, from New York to the Golden Gate. And in the garbage, she did hate. Poor Sarah met an awful fate that I cannot now relate because the hour is much too late. And Children remember Sarah Stout and always take the garbage out. Bye! I have to get into my van and interview some other things. Bye!